Internet culture is like Black Lives Matter and social justice warriors on college campuses. They act like people who have never been told no. Internet culture has no sense of what being mean is. Some people try to justify being really mean on the internet by suggesting that it's the internet and that words don't really hurt people. You run into it sometimes, but rarely do you find someone who is honest who says that they just enjoy being mean to people. Being mean can temporarily feel good. I know I felt good making that Steve Shives video, which is now temporarily on private in case Steve Shives starts going around trying to tackle people who meanly criticizes him, since YouTube has a new terms of service. He could send people out to find this sort of thing too, and not just being him. My meanest videos are the ones that have gotten the most views and the most thumbs up. There's something wrong with that, in my opinion. And what's really pathetic, to me, is that some of the people who are the meanest are the ones that use the phrase you're violating my free speech the most often. These people have completely lost their morality because they actually do believe that you can't hurt people on the internet. And when it comes to a larger percentage of online atheists being meaner than most other online communities, it's combined with that belief that you can't actually hurt people on the internet and that having a sense of morality when it comes to not purposely going out of your way to hurt people is somehow a religious thing or an SJW thing and has to be fought against at every turn. As if having any sense of morality is something to fight against. Personally, I think that a lot of this internet SJW crap rose out of the culture of meanness on the internet. It's a reaction to the culture of meanness found on the internet. It didn't really exist before the internet, at least not to these toxic levels. Yes, I just basically said that meanness for the sake of meanness, bullying for the sake of bullying, cruelness for the sake of cruelness, yes, these things have created these SJWs. And I do think that it's the meanness that started this shit first. Before I ever saw people act like social justice warriors, I saw people being just the nastiest people possible on the internet, on forums, on many places online. Social media put all of that into hyper mode. This is not to say that the SJWs are right in their ways in any way or their messed up beliefs, but they were still created as a counter to the mean culture so often found online. Online, where a huge percentage of people under 50 spend most of their time if they don't have a lot of interactions with people in person. Yes, online, the internet, the new boob tube, the new media wall. And don't use the society doesn't have to fallacy either to argue against what I'm saying on either side. Reality is what it is. Humans are what they are. Society acts as society acts. You can say, well, people shouldn't be like this and they shouldn't do that. Well, the truth is, they do. It happens. And no amount of you saying something should or shouldn't be is going to change that. The truth of the matter is that one of the ways that this crap on both sides will stop is when, and yes, I said when, because unless people find a way of toning down, it will happen, is when we do lose our freedom of speech. People are abusing our freedom of speech, and in their abuse, they're declaring that they don't have real freedom of speech, which will make them eventually lose their freedom of speech. That's the sad truth of it. Just like cigarettes are eventually going to be made illegal because of those who abuse the privilege of being able to smoke cigarettes. Any right we have, if we abuse that right, that right will eventually be taken away. That's just how it is. You can have whatever principles you want, but the reality is, if you abuse your rights, they'll be taken away. I'm not condoning it or saying that I agree with it. I'm just saying, this is the way that it is.